Open Bionic's Hero Arm. Imagine having a superhero arm, one that looks futuristic and gives you back control of your life. That's exactly what the Open Bionics Hero Arm does. It's not just a prosthetic, it's a lightweight, advanced, and highly functional bionic arm designed for people with below elbow limb differences. Created through precision 3D printing and scanning, the Hero Arm is custom built to fit the user's limb comfortably and seamlessly. It's one of the world's most affordable multi-grip bionic arms, combining innovation, style, and accessibility in a single device. The Hero Arm responds to the smallest muscle movements. Intuitive myoelectric sensors detect signals from the residual limb's muscles, allowing the user to control the arm with remarkable precision. Want to open your hand? Pick up a glass or press a button, just flex your muscles and the arm responds. It can perform multiple grip patterns such as the power grip, pinch grip, tripod grip, and hook, enabling users to carry out everyday tasks like opening doors, writing with a pen, using cutlery, or even tying shoelaces. Every finger on the hero arm moves independently, mimicking natural hand movement. It offers haptic feedback and visual cues through lights and vibrations, letting users know when they've successfully completed a task like picking something up. Despite being incredibly advanced, the arm is surprisingly lightweight, under one kilogram, making it easy to wear all day without discomfort or strain. It's also strong, capable of lifting up to eight kilograms with ease. But it's not just about function. The Hero Arm is designed to make users feel proud and powerful. It features swappable magnetic covers that can be customized to match your personality. Whether it's a sleek black matte finish, bold metallics, or themed designs from Marvel, Star Wars, or Disney, the Hero Arm looks like something straight out of a sci-fi film. And for kids, it becomes more than a medical device. It becomes a source of confidence and joy. One of the most inspiring things about the Hero Arm is the impact it has on users' lives. It allows people to regain independence, perform tasks they couldn't before, and engage in hobbies they love. From riding bikes to painting, from typing to cooking, users around the world are rediscovering their potential. It's also a tool of empowerment in the workplace, helping users perform jobs that require dexterity and grip. Open Bionics has redefined what a prosthetic can be. By using 3D printing and modular design, they've dramatically reduced the cost and time it takes to make a prosthetic. What once took months or even years to create can now be made in a matter of weeks. And because it's made from modern, durable materials, maintenance is simpler and more affordable than traditional prosthetics. This isn't just about replacing a limb. It's about redefining what's possible. The Hero Arm gives users more than mobility. It gives them confidence, independence, and a sense of identity. Open Bionics is turning disability into super ability, using technology to create heroes in real life. University of Utah Bionic Leg. Walking on two legs is something most of us take for granted. It's a basic human function that gives us independence, freedom, and dignity. But for millions around the world, injury, illness, or congenital conditions strip away that simple ability to stand, to walk, to move without assistance. For those individuals, regaining mobility isn't just about movement, it's about reclaiming their life. For years, the idea of robotic limbs helping people walk again lived only in science fiction. But today, that dream has become a reality with the revolutionary robotic prosthetic leg by Bionic M. The Bionic M robotic leg is not just a prosthesis, it's a breakthrough in human-centered robotics. It fuses cutting-edge bionic technology with the intelligence of humanoid robotics to create a safe, stable, and natural walking experience. Designed with a focus on real-world usability, it offers powered motion that mimics biological muscle movement using what Bionic M calls a bio-muscle assistive system. This technology supports smoother and more stable mobility, allowing users to walk with confidence, whether they're indoors or out in the real world. At the core of the system is a powerful 5000 Hz direct current motor, controlled by an advanced mechatronic system that responds to the user's movement patterns in real time. 
The leg is capable of performing up to 30,000 continuous steps without loss of performance, delivering consistent energy and power with each motion. It's built on the 4 cheap -a lot platform and includes multiple high-precision sensors that detect walking phases and adjust assistance accordingly. This creates a fluid, natural gait that closely resembles that of a biological leg. Even in unexpected situations, like a sudden power loss, the leg doesn't stop functioning. It seamlessly shifts into a passive mode, similar to traditional prosthetics, so users are never left stranded. The prosthesis also includes automatic assistive extension, which helps extend the leg naturally during walking, especially useful for reducing stress and fatigue on the intact leg. This feature dramatically improves balance and posture, making everyday activities easier and more comfortable. One of the most impressive aspects is its active stair assistance. Climbing stairs is one of the most physically demanding tasks for amputees. The Bionic M leg provides extra motor-powered force to help ascend stairs more easily. On the way down, it offers controlled yielding that adjusts the descent speed, ensuring both safety and comfort. Control doesn't end at the hardware. A dedicated mobile app allows users to fine-tune their walking settings, monitor residual battery life, and adapt the system to their personal preferences. This level of personalization ensures that each user can get the most out of their prosthesis based on their own body, activity level, and lifestyle. But Bionic M's vision goes far beyond just restoring movement. They believe prosthetic limbs should be as expressive and personal as the people who wear them like a pair of glasses or a stylish outfit. In the future, prosthetic legs will no longer be hidden. They'll become a part of one's identity, blending function with fashion. Bionic M's innovation has already caught the world's attention. From over 4,000 international design entries, their robotic legs stood out as truly exceptional. Earning the prestigious Red Dot Award, Luminary in 2020, the highest honor in one of the world's most respected design competitions. This is more than a prosthetic. It's a symbol of freedom, resilience, and the power of technology to change lives. With Bionic M's robotic leg, users don't just walk again. They step forward into a new chapter of life with strength, pride, and independence. Ian Burkhart's neural implant. Six years ago, Ian Burkhart's life changed forever after a diving accident left him paralyzed from the chest down. But now, thanks to an incredible breakthrough in neurotechnology, he's been able to move his hand and fingers again, just by thinking about it. This was made possible by a neural implant that bypasses his damaged spinal cord. Instead of signals traveling down the spine, they're now rerouted directly from Ian's brain to his right arm. Here's how it works. When Ian thinks about moving his hand, the implant detects those brain signals and sends them to a sleeve worn on his arm. That sleeve delivers tiny electrical impulses to his muscles, activating them and triggering movement. In real time, Ian can now grasp objects, move each of his fingers individually, and even perform precise tasks like swiping a credit card or playing Guitar Hero, a remarkable leap forward in neuroprosthetics. The system wasn't instant. It took months of training and calibration, but the results are groundbreaking. Still, there are limitations. The current version of the system is bulky, occupying an entire table, meaning Ian can only use it in a lab setting. And while it uses 96 electrodes to read brain signals, that's not quite enough for complex hand movements like typing or playing piano. Researchers are already working on the next version, drop, which will include thousands of electrodes for more detailed signal decoding, and aim to miniaturize the entire computer system so it fits entirely within the implant. That would make the device portable and usable in everyday life. Ian isn't the only one to benefit. Four more participants have been approved to test this technology, which means this isn't just an isolated case. It's a glimpse into the future of mobility and independence for people living with paralysis. Meanwhile, in another part of the neurotech world, a woman named Anne is testing a brain implant designed to restore speech. The device, an electrocorticography grid attached to her skull, captures brain signals related to her attempts to move facial muscles. Those signals are then decoded in real time to generate speech. 
Anne, who lost her voice due to a severe neurological condition, now uses this system to hold natural, late, flowing conversations with her loved ones, something that used to take five to seven minutes using her old, slow, assistive device. Her current communication system involves dollar store glasses with a reflective sticker interfacing with outdated technology. But now, for the first time in years, Anne is able to speak with clarity and emotion. These breakthroughs are not just about restoring movement or speech, they're about restoring connection, independence, and dignity. And while there's still a long road ahead in terms of cost, accessibility, and technological refinement, the progress is real. For Ian, Anne, and others like them, the future is full of possibility. Looser mind-controlled bionic prosthetics, a groundbreaking moment in medical history, recently unfolded in the United States. For the first time ever, an amputee has successfully controlled two prosthetic limbs using nothing but his thoughts. It's not science fiction, it's real, and it's changing the future of human mobility. Leslie Baugh lost both of his arms in an electrical accident over 40 years ago. For decades, he lived without the full function of his limbs until he became part of a revolutionary program at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory. There, Leslie became the world's first amputee to have mind-controlled prosthetic limbs attached directly to his body. After a series of intensive training sessions, he was able to control the limbs with nothing but his brain signals, essentially turning himself into the computer that moves the robotic arms. When asked how it felt, Leslie said that once the system was active and he was in control, he entered a completely different world, one filled with possibilities. The arms responded to his thoughts in real time, allowing him to perform complex movements like grasping, rotating the wrist, or bending the elbow. He was able to access multiple degrees of motion, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, and fingers. While he still had to select which motion he wanted to perform step by step, it was a giant leap forward from traditional prosthetics. This meant that for the first time in decades, he could dream about doing small, everyday things again, like reaching into a vending machine and grabbing a soda. Simple actions that most people never even think about were now within his reach. And that's what made this project so extraordinary. Not just the science behind it, but the return of independence dignity, and normalcy to someone who had lived without it for so long. The system itself relies on an advanced neural interface. Electrodes are implanted and mapped to connect directly with the nervous system, detecting the brain's intentions and converting them into precise, fluid movement. Leslie's limbs moved naturally, not with the jerky mechanical motions we often associate with robotics, but with realistic speed and control. The researchers behind the project believe we're only at the beginning. As one team member put it, this is like the early days of the internet, an exciting starting point with infinite potential. The next five to 10 years could bring transformative changes. The goal is to make the limbs portable so users like Leslie can take them home and integrate them into daily life instead of only operating them inside a lab. This breakthrough proves that restoring full control to amputees through brain-powered prosthetics is possible. The team is now focused on refining the system, making it more compact, more intuitive, and more widely available. Their vision to offer this life-changing technology to others around the world, unlocking a new era of freedom and mobility. It's not just a medical achievement, it's the dawn of a new frontier. With the power of human thought and cutting-edge engineering, the dream of becoming a real-life bionic human is no longer out of reach. Biodap Performance Prosthetics Not every cutting-edge prosthetic has to be robotic, AI-powered, or mind-controlled to be life-changing. Some are purely mechanical, yet still remarkably advanced, and one of the best examples of that comes from Biodapt a company redefining what's possible for amputees in action sports. Biodap specializes in high-performance lower limb prosthetics that allow users not just to walk again, but to run, jump, race, and even compete at elite levels without limitations. The mission at Biodapt is simple yet powerful. Help amputees regain their freedom and enjoy an active lifestyle. Whether it's snowboarding, motocross, or downhill mountain biking, their prosthetic systems are designed for real-world, high-impact movement. 
These aren't passive limbs. They're precision engineered tools for athletes, adventurers, and anyone who refuses to sit on the sidelines. The story behind Biodap begins with Mike Schultz, a professional snowmobile racer who lost his leg above the knee in a devastating accident in 2008. After his recovery, Mike quickly realized that none of the existing prosthetics could handle the demands of high-speed, high-impact sports. So instead of giving up, he decided to build one himself. Using his expertise in fabrication, suspension design, and a deep understanding of competitive sports, Mike developed the first prototype of what would later become the company's flagship product, the Moto Knee. The Moto Knee is unlike any prosthetic you've seen. Built with performance in mind, it features adjustable shocks, air springs, and a unique linkage system that mimics natural leg movement with incredible accuracy. It looks like a piece of racing hardware, and it performs like one too. The system offers a dynamic, responsive feel that gives users control, they track balance, and agility during even the most intense physical activity. But BioDAP didn't stop there. They also developed a compatible foot and ankle system designed to work in harmony with the Moto Knee for an even more natural stride and better shock absorption. This combination gives amputees the confidence and performance they need to push the limits of what prosthetics can do. Mike Schultz didn't just build the prosthetic, he used it to go on and win multiple ESPN X Games medals, proving just how capable and competitive these systems are. His success inspired other athletes to follow suit, and today, BioDapt prosthetics are used by top competitors across a range of extreme sports. These prosthetics may not use AI or neural control, but their innovation lies in their rugged simplicity, adaptability, and performance. BioDapt is a perfect example of engineering that blends form and function, not just restoring mobility, but empowering users to live without compromise. It's about more than walking again. It's about flying down a mountain, landing tricks, and doing what you love.